and literally saying, Lord, please, please. please. It's, it's a lot of us. I have a lot of people in my family. I'm tired of listening to them. <laughs> right now, that's my dream vacation. Fuck Dubai. I won't. Okay, if you ask anybody else outside of me, they would say I have a lot of pet peeves. This is my favorite perfume. It's so good. Like, I What's up, y'all? So welcome back to the channel, first of all. Welcome back, girl. Okay, as y'all read by the title, this is about to be my first q and I was gonna do a mukbang, but here we are at the desk. So you know what that means, another session. <laughs> I got 15 questions that I wrote down that I'm gonna answer for y'all, just so y'all can get to know me a little bit better and just, you know, know where I'm coming from. Really get into my heart. Okay, so anyway, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll go ahead and get into the QA. All right, y'all, so question number one. But as y'all know, your girl got a tattoo fitness, so I got that vlog coming up soon, too, so make sure y'all stay tuned for that. But anyway, y'all, so how old am I? Your girl is 26 years old. I'll be 27 October 17th. So all my leapers out there, I'm gonna tap in, tap in below, okay? Cause I see the slowly approaching. We gonna let the Aries, we gonna let the Aries how they season. But once um, October come around, y'all better like y'all know, okay? Um, where I live and where I'm from. So I live in Hinesville, Georgia, a little ass county town. They got their own rules and laws and regulations. Um, that's about an hour away from Savannah, and I'm from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Lived in Norfolk, so you know, shop cities. But yeah, I'm from Virginia Beach, Virginia. But I do plan to reside in Georgia just in the long run because Georgia is really nice. I'm definitely going to get out of Hinesville because there's nothing around here and the fact that I gotta travel an hour to get to the mall is a problem. <laughs> so, your girl, I'm moving to the city, okay? My best around to move to Atlanta, you know what they say. <laughs> so question number three, my favorite perfume in my collection so far. So, actually y'all, let me just go and show y'all my favorite perfume. Y'all feel like it'd be a long way down in this chair. Maybe I need to sit it up a little bit. All right, y'all, so right now, this is my favorite perfume. It's so good, like, I love this stuff. Jimmy Choo Toilet, I think it's called. You know the one that's made with what, alcohol? Or the one that's made with water? Is it water? I don't know, but I know I won't be really getting too many of these types of perfumes. Y'all comment down below and correct me, but other than that, that's only the plant I have. It smells so good. So, yeah, this is my favorite perfume so far in my collection. And your girl got a little collection going on, so I feel accomplished with that. But yeah, um, my studies. Your girl is taking, is majoring in business administration and accounting. So, with that comes a lot of numbers. <laughs> To say the least, this is a very strenuous um, major, but I'm almost done. I'm set to graduate this December, y'all. Lord, please, please. <laughs> please let me graduate this December. And I say that, y'all, because they keep changing. They keep changing my freaking graduation date. Exactly when my benefits are set to end. So I'm praying and hoping it stays like that. I got my degree plan mapped out, so everything should be on the up and up. But... Y'all, they stressing your girl. I don't have to deal with so much school stuff. It's ridiculous. Do I like it? Yes. Is it complex? Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, next question. Family, siblings, and extended family. So I'm gonna sum all of that up. I have quite a few siblings on my with my mom. My siblings. I have an older brother. We're 16 months apart. And um, he lives in Houston, Texas, which is the engagement party that I just came from. My younger sister, we're four years apart. She is, um, she lives back home in Virginia. 
And then on my dad's side, it's, it's a lot of us. I have a lot of people in my family. I'm trying to listen to them because <laughs> now I gotta think about who these people are. Because I'm really not in contact with um, a lot of my family on my dad's side. Like my sister Simone is the only person who like, I'm close on my dad's side. My favorite Starbucks drink. Y'all, I'm cheating right now because I got Panera Bros. But she's my favorite Starbucks drink is a grande chai iced tea latte with one cup of brown sugar. And when Libra season rolls around, it's gonna be that plus pumpkin foam on the top, okay? Cause we gotta have a pumpkin foam. So yeah, grande chai iced tea latte, one cup of brown sugar, pumpkin cream foam on top, cinnamon sprinkled on top with a warm pumpkin loaf. Pumpkin muffin once we can see them come around. So yeah, I'm a pumpkin girl. I love fall. I love all of the aesthetics of fall. That's my season. That's our season. We're there. Okay. All right. So my dream vacation. Yeah, I gotta use the bathroom, but I was going to go use the bathroom when I went and got that perfume, and then I realized I was wearing the one piece. So that rewrited me. But my dream vacation is currently to go to Turks and Caicos, okay? I wanna go to Turks and Caicos. Who don't? All right, it's beautiful. I keep seeing all these vlogs, all these Turks and Caicos vlogs. I wanna go to Turks and Caicos right now. That's my dream vacation. Fuck Dubai. I want Turks and Caicos, okay? <laughs> my 2022 goals. I have quite a few 2022 goals. Like, I really do. Buying on Dish Out of Tea, cause I gotta move in silence. So, some of my 2022 goals would be to graduate with my bachelor's in December, like I was telling y'all about. Travel outside of the country again this year. Last year, I went to Puerto Rico, so I want to go outside of the country, outside of the 50 states again. Hopefully, Turks and Caicos, hopefully. And um, I plan one of my biggest goals. Well, this is actually my biggest goal this year. My biggest goal this year, y'all, is to become monetized on YouTube. I said it, I said it, I'm manifesting it, what? Okay, girl, like, I'm about to be monetized on YouTube. That is my biggest goal for 2022. Like, you know, like when you feel something so bad that something so good is going to happen or that is about to happen you just get like this anxiety feeling about it that's how I feel that's why like when I speak on it I speak strongly about it because so those are just a couple of my goals for 2022 y'all <laughs> um so would I rather save or spend your girl would rather spend okay <laughs> that's just the tea but I have, I am getting older, so I am understanding the importance of saving and budgeting and knowing where your money is going really at all times. Because as you get older, you start realizing what you need to start acquiring, a house, a nice car to match your, your you know, your age, your financial situation, things like that. Uh, your lifestyle, like you start understanding what you really want out of life as you get older. I feel like I think that 25 mark, that's when you really feel like it. And yeah, so I love to spend, but I've gotten very good at saving and budgeting my money. So I'm proud of myself. Yeah, so that's a tea on that. Um, comment down below, what y'all saving and spending techniques and budget tips? Because I could definitely use some more tips and things like that because you know how You'll do something and it don't work out and you gotta move to the next thing. Um, so far I found a system that works for me, but definitely let me know down below in the comments what you guys do to save and budget your money. A pet peeve. What would be, okay, if you ask anybody else outside of me, they would say I have a lot of pet peeves. I don't know if I believe that. I do have things that really annoy me. Because, you know, it's said that I have an attitude problem. Some people hear my there. But 
a pet peeve of mine, I would have to say, I don't like people staying too close to me. I really don't like when a stranger stands too close to me. It is so, like, it really grinds my gears. Like, when you're standing in a line at the store and the person who's coming up behind you just comes and literally stands. <coughs> Can we get six feet? Like, oh my God, it's so annoying. I hate that. And just thinking about it pisses me off. Y'all, we was in DSW last year sometime, me and my mama, and we were standing in line, you know, they got the circle six feet. Casually just said, I'm glad, I like this whole six feet social distancing thing because people be standing too close to me in the line. And my mama looked at me and laughed because it was like, I was so serious. Like, I do not like that, y'all. All right, music artists. So currently, music artists that I'm into would be Lotto. I fuck with Cali. I fuck with Cali. She hard. I've been playing her album back to back, period. Um, of course, Megan. Nikki, I've been tuned in since she's been back. I know I'm missing other people, but male rappers, I listen to Lil Dirt. I definitely fuck with Lil Dirt. Lil Baby, 100%. A Boogie, Kodak. Um, so, yeah, that's just the name of a few, y'all. That's just the name of a few. Heels or shoes? Your girl would rather wear heels, okay? But I know when and when not to wear them. Like, if I'm going to the store, I'm not really the type. I'm going to look cute, but I'm not going to really wear heels. Um, makeup or bare face? Y'all think I got makeup on? Uh, I definitely prefer bare face. And I actually wear my bare face 95% of the time. And then I go through a phase where I'm wearing makeup. But I literally wear bare face 95% of the time. So, their face. <laughs> I believe in asserting your natural beauty. I've never really been into heavy makeup. Even when I am wearing makeup, I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, like heavy makeup. So, um, my favorite workout routine. My favorite workout routine is um, booty workouts. <laughs> Why I'm saying like that? Why? I don't know. I love a booty workout and I love cardio too. I do love cardio. I really enjoy cardio. So really cardio and booty workouts are my favorite. Right now, my favorite person to look at for a booty workouts is Jane Kate. I believe her name is. Yeah, Jane Kate, I'll probably pop her up somewhere so y'all can see. But that's right now, I've been following her for a couple months now and she's great. So y'all tune into her. Last question, y'all. How do I unwind from the day? How I unwind from the day is I like to eat first before I start getting myself together for the night. And then I, um, I'll probably do a mask depending on the day, how the day went, the night, how long it's been since I had a mask. I'll do that. I'll take a shower. I'll lather in my Dove body wash mousse because I got that. That stuff was so good. I'll scrub, I'll, you know, probably shave if I have to. But I kind of like do a pamper night. I pretty much do like a pamper night every night, to be completely honest, but it's just less in depth than like my Sunday reset pamper day. Once I get out of the shower, I like to, you know, lather myself in shea butter. So that's very soothing. And while I'm doing that, I got my music playing in the background. You know, relaxing, I'm sitting in front of my mirror. I put my perfume on once I'm dressed and I put my silk robe on. So I just like doing that because that physically makes me feel good. So that transpires to my mental and it just refreshes me. and gets me settled and calm for the night. Um, but then after that, I'll just sit on the sofa, watch a movie until I go to sleep, have me some wine, you know, some milk wine. And that's pretty much how I unwind. <laughs> And sometimes I do like to write in my journal too. Sometimes I do like to write in my journal just to reflect from the day probably or even go ahead and write down my agenda for the next day or just um, write down goals, you know, just things like that. So, yeah. That's it for this video, y'all. I hope I didn't even finish this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got to know a little bit more about me and what I'm coming with and bringing to the table. And I hope you guys liked the video. And if you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. This is my very first Q&A. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.